Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss axioms of probability. In this session, we'll see axioms of probability. So let's start with the let's say that S is the sample space and E is the event. Then probability of event is greater than zero equal to and sorry less uh, greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 1 if we are talking in percentage it is going to be between 0 to 100 percentage 0 to 100 percent secondly the probability of sample space is 1 or 100 percent because the sample space is a set of all the possible outcomes and probability of sample space that means at least one of the outcome will definitely occur and then it will cover the entire space so it is 100 percent third is let's say we have events a and b for any for an uh, experiment let's say we have events a and b then probability of A intersection B can be given as probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Right? We'll add the probability of A, B and then subtract the A intersection B. And what if A and B are mutually exclusive if they are mutually exclusive this a intersection b will become zero disjoint a and b are disjoint there is nothing in common between a and b so in that case in that case probability of a union b directly becomes probability of a plus probability of b for any number of mutually exclusive events P of let's say E1 intersection E2 intersection up to En can be directly written as probability of E1 plus probability of E2 plus probability of En. Sum of all, sum of all the probabilities. Right? Fourth one is let's say for A and B are events of random experiment then probability of A intersection B is given as probability of A into probability of B given A has occurred or probability of B into probability of A given B has occurred this is known as multiplication rule. Condition P of A is not equal to 0 and P of B is not equal to 0. So what is this B given A? This is a conditional probability. In short, if we see 
this a intersection b is a joint probability probability of a or probability b alone is marginal probability because it is about one single event and this is conditional probability probability of b condition a has already occurred probability of a condition probab uh, b has already occurred right so a little detail on this conditional probability will help you this probability of a given b actually changes the sample space it reduces the sample space for example let's say probability i'm saying i'm giving an example probability of getting a 3 given the number is odd i'm talking about a dice so probability of getting a 3 given the number is odd now in general the entire subspace uh, entire events uh, entire sample space is considered so the number of uh, events in the sample space is 6 but here the condition is the given the number is odd so the sample space reduces to only odd numbers so we have odd numbers as 1 3 and 5 right 1 3 and 5 so this becomes the new sample space let's let's say s dash and getting a 3 is your event right given it is odd so we don't have the entire sample space as 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have only odd numbers 1 3 5 so the number of event is 3 sample space is 3 and number of event is 1 so the probability becomes 1 by 3 it is not 1 by 6 anymore it is a conditional probability so it will be 1 by 3 now right and also if if a and b are independent we have read in types of events that for an event being independent it is directly equal to the probability of that event that means this p probability of b given a will become probability of b and probability of a given b will directly become probability of a because it it is independent of the occurrence of a or it is independent of the occurrence of b so in that case if these are independent probability of a intersection b is directly given as probability of a into probability of b we can add or we can write this as since probability of a will become will be equal to probability of a given b and probability of b will be equal to probability of b given a for independent events right and of course like the previous one we can extend this so for number let's say n numbers of independent event probability of e1 intersection e2 intersection e3 intersection e n will directly become probability of e1 into probability of e2 into dot 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 up to probability of e n we can directly multiply it without any other requirement